Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Burchard again. I hope you're doing well. And today we're going to learn about trains. Have you ever ridden in a train? It's really fun. Trains are different today and you know they they have wheels but they don't have roads. They're on rails and they can travel from city to city and you can get off and get back on and go someplace else. So they're fun if you've never been on a train. Maybe someday you can ask your mom and dad to take you. So today our book is called Freight Train. It's one of my favorite books and it's by Donald Cruz. And we're going to learn about freight trains and the different cars that are on a freight train. So let's begin. A train runs across the track. Now, trains don't, like I said, don't run on roads. They run on tracks. Their wheels actually go on two tracks. And there's different cars on a train. So let me go over each one. And the very, very back of a train is the caboose. And most of the time they're red. And that uh, car is used for <clears throat> usually an office for the engineer who's at the front. This orange one is a tank car. <clears throat> so you can imagine a tank car can hold any kind of liquid. It can hold um, gas. It can hold milk. Anything that's liquid. This yellow one right here is a hopper car. You see the things on top? Well, the hopper car can carry lots of different things. And like gravel or wood, even coal. And um, you, you see the part right here at the bottom? So when it gets wherever it needs to go, it opens up and it can actually, um, what's inside can actually be put in the back of a truck. So let's see what kind of other cars are in this freight train. You see this green one right here? This is a cattle car. Now what are cattle? Cattle can be horses, they can be cows, they can be pigs. So that, you see the slats, those things going across that's where the air gets through so the animals that are in there can breathe so that's what that one is now you see this blue one right here it's kind of flat and long it's a gondola car and you see those things at the top that's used to carry coal so coal is something that burns and gives you energy and if you've ever had um, your mom and dad cook you hamburgers or hot dogs in the grill, you've probably seen the, the little black squares that he, your mom or dad puts on the bottom. That's coal. This purple one is a box car. So um, it can hold all kinds of different things that... Um, that need to get across the country and see this right here that's the door and you you can open and close the door so they can put different things in there let's see what other cars okay so this black one right here you can see that it already has a coal in it and that's used that coal is used to power the freight train and there's the engine so that's the steam engine. So what happens is um, one of the men that's in the engine, they shovel it into a big uh, oven and the oven heats up, it burns and it boils the water and that moves the wheels. That's why you have all of this steam right here. That's why it's called a steam engine. So here's the freight train. It's moving. Can you tell if it's going fast or slow? 
That's right. You see how blurry it is? It's going so fast that you can barely see the cars it's carrying. Let's see what happens next. See this right here? It's going through a tunnel. It's dark. And look, there it goes. It comes right back out the other side. Have you ever driven through a tunnel where it's dark and then you come out the other end? That's what this steam train is doing. And it's look at the background. It's going by a city. Can you tell me if it's going fast or slow? I bet you can. Let's see what else is happening. Look at this. You see this right here? The train can't go all the way down here and all the way up because look, it's all bumpy and everything. So um, workers built this wooden uh, bridge called a trestle. And a trestle is just for trains to go across. The track is up there and it goes all the way across. Look at it. Can you see it? It's dark. It's moving in the darkness. This is moving in the daylight. It's going, going. Can you see whether it's going fast or slow? And it's gone. All you see is the steam up in the clouds, up in the air. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time. Bye.